Okay. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle is real, but it only applies to quantum principle principles that apply to the collective. The collective holography, the collective, excuse me, the collective holography is fixed. So the heightened, the, so the, so excuse me, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle only applies to the individual ego. That's what's changeable. Whatever reality tunnels, whatever you knit for yourself, that, yes, yeah, yes. By examining a mathematical construct in the particular, you can alter it. That's what creating reality tunnels is, yes. But in the collective, no. I'll give you an example. Let me give you, uh, let me give you an analogy. A minnow has great has great capacity to go up and down and all around left and right and swim for weeks and never reach the terminus or the perimeters of its existence the edges of the lake the minnow can swim and swim and swim but once the minnow reaches the edge of the lake the minnow cannot go any further the minnow can leap out of the water but will fall right back in the minnow is restricted to the collective environment. But on an individual level, the minnow can be any at any coordinates it wants to be and vibrating at any frequency it wants to vibrate. The human immortal is exactly the same way. We are in a fixed construct. It has a terminus, and this is what my video, The Archaic's Paradox, is about. Because I was researching Elliott Wave Theory when I came across my own idea to go ahead and measure every single number, 1 through 50,000, against its own holographic reflection to see what I found. And my, my programmer named James, I'll give him credit, his name is James Desmond Knorr. And when he coded this, we sat at his computer and we were shocked. I had to produce that video because what we saw patterned in 11 dimensions and in descending node fast was that every number in our reality when measured against its own holographic reflection almost instantly collapses to another number that is that is divisible by nine or it collapses all the way to zero most numbers go straight to zero all numbers go to zero eventually in their, in their collapses, holographic collapses, they all reduce to zero except one number. That number is 2178, and there is no there is no explaining that other than somehow that mathematical exercise showed us that reality itself is, is like in a manifold Dyson shell mathematical construct that is it's structured in 11 dimensions. But there's a shadow of another dimension we can't obtain. We can't get to it. Because as soon as we get to 2178, it, it's a feedback loop. It's an, it's an immortal number. Because 21, 2178 will not reduce to zero at all. It won't collapse. There's no quantum collapse. Our arithmetic from this false reality is nothing but the photo negative of a real reality for which we can't penetrate. We can't get to it. But just like Elliott Wave Theory proposes, my Archaic's Paradox thesis shows that reality is counting down to something big. What's really fascinating is that the year 2178, the same as the immortal number that won't collapse, the year 2178 on the Anno Domini calendar, which we know was created by the Smilicum, the year 2178 is 138 years after 2040. That tells me that the Phoenix phenomenon is a part of the collective construct and that it is, it is intrinsically a part of it. That tells me that the final collapse of the simulacrum and this whole sphere that has imprisoned us is not far away. Not far away at all. We might all die a couple more times and come back. But like I told you, transmigration of souls in the simulacrum is very easy. It's not even hard to process. 
I'm 48 years old. I'll be 49 in two months. I'm 48 years old right now. And if I died right now, I'd come back and I will be 18 or 17 years old when the Phoenix phenomenon occurs. Every single person alive on this world right now will be alive when the Phoenix comes. And every single person who dies during the Phoenix episode will be raised up as a youngster during the apocalypse. Because the real apocalypse happens only after the Phoenix phenomenon has done what it's going to do. This is the eschatological chronology for which I have many videos about. Some of you might want to go watch my videos on like uh, Mark of the Beast and all that. I, I explain this. We're not in it. When, when the COVID narrative really was going strong, people were doomsaying, I was releasing videos talking about, man, this ain't it. This is not Mark of the Beast. This is not the end. This is nothing. I, I was telling everybody over and over and over, this is going to end. In the first quarter of 2022, this is going to collapse. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be swept under the rug, and they're gonna enter, we're going to enter a new paradigm, and the media is going to be foisting other things on, on us. And it's exactly what happened. Yes, is, is the COVID narrative still being pushed in some places? Yeah, but not as hard. Especially not in the United States, especially not in Texas. All over the world, all over the world, people have gone back to work. Uh, things have been, things have pretty much resumed to normal, except for the inflation.